Hello guys, I hope you are doing well. In today's video, we are going to talk about the lights. Okay, for example, uh, let me open the shortcuts. And for example, today we are going to talk about the uh, the lights. Okay, Shift A, and let's put a monkey Susanne to here, and put a plane here, and put this one near to it. Okay, now we are going to uh, bring a light. We have four types of lights. For example, I will uh, try the point and I will bring it back uh, top to the top. So you can see we have something like this. And when I'm going to uh, rendering viewport, you can see something like this, which is very uh, it is lighting the scene but not a lot when I bring it uh, down you can see it's a little bit uh, bright so we have this uh, property object data property we can change the power of it okay for example if I make it 100 you can see something like this occur or if I make it 1000 you see something like this occurred if I bring it up you see and we have the radius of it how how much it can the radius of it what does the radius mean it means how how long it can reach to other sites for example if I make it too much like this if I make it too much the light will shine it but it's a little bit because it's uh, it is distributing it according to the sites other sites okay so for example if i make the bounces make it i'll let it as it is and we will not use it that a, a lot because it's just explaining it okay so let me put this one shade smooth okay and let's see the light and we can change the color of it okay for example if i change the color of it can see something like this is happening if I make the light a little bit less and make this one 100 you can see it is shining red we can change uh, we can go to the preview and see the strength or the type of the light if I make it more you can see it's showing here okay if I want to create another th uh, another uh, light or add another light, we can add a sunlight here. Or we can go to here, make this one the sun. Okay, we can go and make this one 100. You see, and we can go up there, uh, make it <laughs> to the up and bring it here, and we can change this one. If I make shift. T, it is moving according to my mouse. If I click on it, you see something like this occur. For example, if I make it white, something like this, and make the brightest, the bright, uh, the strength 50 or 10, let's say, something like this will be occur. Uh, if you don't want to change this according to this, you can just Shift D it, and it will change according your mouse and you will do uh, right uh, left click and you can see the sun and we have the angle of it the angle of it you see and what else we have is that we said the angle of it that will make the shadow bright uh, make soft or strong you see it's very strong but this is very soft you see and what we can do is that we can uh, give it a sh uh, what we said we can give a subdivision to it so it will be smooth and let's change the light to another thing which is the spot light okay you can sh create shadow cow sticks it's for the water this one you can turn it off you, we have shadow in water, but we will not do right now. We will do it in 
uh, in the upcoming lessons or tutorials let's go to the spot and you can see the spot and we will make this one a bit more because it's spot the spotlight will be uh, uh, in a place for focusing to something shift T and we'll focus on this it's focuses on the we can make it more we can make it 2000 okay like this and we can change the color of it like make it yellow something like this okay like this or you can ch make it like this okay so you can change the radius of it how much the radius from here you see and you have the spot size you can make it bigger or smaller and you can blend it with the surrounding and show cone it, you'll, it will show where it's affecting okay like this and we can go to the area light which is like this we will uh, see that we have the area light which we can scale it but it will not change anything only it will change the shadow okay the strength will be same you can make it 1000 like this and most of the time i am using this light a lot when i am rendering something okay like this and yeah and we can uh, rotate it rotate it like this or you can rotate it from here something like this you see and from here we can change this one this one you see not the rotate if we uh, select the red axis it will change for example if i want to make this one bigger smaller depends okay so it's like this and what we have is that we have the spreading how much you want to be spread we'll make it as it is and we can make it portal later on we will talk about this but we can change the square to rectangle we can change it to a disc we can change it to ellipse and you can play with the size of it for the disk you can change it here and for the rectangle we have x and y and the square as it is square because it has same length so it does not need x y okay so you are learning math you see you are learning math it's math is very beautiful subject and i hope you can learn it from blender 2 not only from the books but in blender 2 you can change the colors again you see and again you can make select this and shift d to change the direction of it you see we could change it as we want it okay so and this is the only the basic to show you how to use the light it's not an advanced tutorial i hope it was helpful and see you in the next video goodbye